today's event, we are very delighted to showcase the local innovative solutions and good practices by our partners from the southern countries. Connected through the South-South and Triangular Cooperation among multi-time Maritime Continental Silk Road Cities Project and the Global South-South Development Center Project. Both projects have been established and advanced in long-standing and strong partnership between UN Office for South-South Cooperation and China International Center for Economic and Technical Exchanges, CSET engaging UN specialized agencies, national and local partners, technical institutions around the world. In recent years, CSET and UNESCO have jointly launched two flagship projects, namely the Global South-South Development Center project, the GSSDC project, and the South-South and Triangular Cooperation among Maritime Continental Silk Road Cities for Sustainable Development Project, the Cities Project. Both projects have achieved encouraging results in integrating resources, strengthening public-private partnership, and promoting technical cooperation and exchanges in the Global South. The South-South Cooperation in Sustainable Waste Management, that is a waste wise Purdue, has its aim to enhance the capacities of the new Semero City Council to sustainably manage waste and resources and move towards circular economy. Contributions of South-South Cooperation towards Sustainable Development in Kwedu City, Pilot on Waste Management. The pilot project has contributed to various local sustainable development goals improve waste collection rates of the municipality and manage a control manner, increase recycling rates by the SMEs, diverting huge quantity of waste from the landfill, thus contributing to the reduction of greenhouse gases emission, contributed to proper accounting system, preventing loss of finance along the various revenue streams enhance public awareness of waste management best practices in the in the people of Kwaidu City. As a council and the people of this municipality, it will be necessary for us to scale up this particular project and the activity so that the people will have much needed awareness and support to this project. Sustainability is not reducing to the environment. Sustainability must be considered in all regional models of development in matters of population, social diversity, and multiculturalism. UNOSC has been connected us between parties with similar problems and innovative solutions responding to the development needs of our communities. The delivery of workshops, seminars, and advice from professionals and experts provide us the tools to consolidate our task to contribute to the construction of better futures in our nation and especially in our cities. Through this project, we bring together representatives of international organizations, of Mexican cities, Chinese, Cuban, and Peruvian cities, and the private sector from Latin America and the Caribbean to exchange good practices and experiences in sustainable tourism, including the particular measures taken to protect world cultural and natural heritage to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. To discuss the role and potential of South-South and Triangular cooperation in the growth and recovery of the tourism sector in cities, especially in helping SMEs recover better, and to facilitate partnerships among multiple stakeholders from, from the Global South for sustainable tourism in cities. Thirdly, I will explain the sustainability and the replicability of this project. The Joint Research Center is considered fundamental for the long-term sustainability of the development of small hydropower, not only in Nepal, but also around the Southern Asian region. Since other Southern Asian countries are facing similar barriers in developing small hydropower, this project can be introduced and replicated effectively in these countries through South-South technology transfer and bilateral technical cooperation. 
It is hoped that similar collaboration can be continued in the future in neighboring countries, both for development of the conventional small hydropower industry and also for the promotion of more ecologically sound small hydropower by utilizing Chinese experiences and achievements in this sector. As part of this effort, in 2022, ICA presented to the NOSC the project called Building Bridges of Knowledge in Latin America and the Caribbean, South-South Exchange of Experiences to Strengthen Resilience and Adaptation of Food Systems Facing Climate Change, which broadly speaking aims to empower technical networks to promote agriculture exchanges in attention to climate change and increase capacity building through technical spaces such as workshops and virtual dialogues that may make it possible to intensify climate action in the agriculture sector of the Americas. For all the above, it's evident that South-South and Triangular Cooperation becomes an ally to provide timely so solutions to existing problems in the region. Therefore, it plays an important role in promoting a more productive, competitive, and sustainable agriculture sector. If we are to meet the goals of the 2030 Agenda, the world's best chance to secure a livable planet and a sustainable future for all, we urgently need to get back on track. Our recovery from the pandemic and other disasters is an opportunity for us to ensure that our future development is inclusive, resilient and sustainable. Only through the sharing of our experiences, knowledge and toolkits of innovative practices based on international norms and standards can we amplify our impact and help advance progress towards the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Only by working together can we all recover from the pandemic stronger. Only with a renewed global solidarity can the world achieve unity in diversity.